Hey, you better take back what you said just now. I told you that we, the fitness society, should be able to use the school field instead of your weak baseball club. Um, please, stop fighting! Huh? Fitness, what's that? I really don't understand why the school pays club fees to such a weak baseball club, while we, the fitness society, don't get any money. Because yours isn't a club, obviously. Uh, uh let's talk things out. Hey. What? We're discussing about important matters right now. It's none of your business. Get out. It is my business. I'm the vice president of the school council, Yomichi Shimizu. And she's Kirika Kiria, our very respectable school president. Uh, what? You're the school president who's famous for being pure and beautiful? Uh, huh? Uh, I, um, um... I... I I'm very sorry for being rude. So, uh, <clears throat> I get the whole story now. You need to ask the student council for permission if you want to use the school field, and the baseball club has reserved the field for this time period, and clubs are prioritized to use the school field. No way, that's unfair. Uh, by the way, you said you were part of the fitness society? Can you even call it a society when there's only one member? I don't have any friends. Then how about you make some friends first, and then make a new club? It's not too late to do so. If you'd like, I can introduce you to some of my friends. Some of them are interested in fitness, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? Th th thank you so much. Don't worry, but uh, don't do something like this again. Yes, sir. Whew, thank God we got to solve that issue. Yes, I knew I could count on you, Shimizu. No. It's all thanks to your authority, President. No, it's not like that. <laughs> She's very humble. But President Kirika Kiria is known to be the idol of our school who's very popular among the students. She's pure, elegant, and diligent. She's basically the role model for all students. Actually, because she was so popular, when she ran for school president in her first year, she won the position, receiving a great amount of votes from the students. She's now in her second year, and continues to secure her role as the school president, further strengthening her position. I, Yomichi Shimizu, am the vice president of the school council. My main duty is to mediate conflicts and fights between students. She's no doubt very popular, but mediating fights is just not her thing. She's very kind, and she has other things to take care of. Like that, I take care of the issues that happen within the sports club as I help the president finish her work. I also have other things to do, which might be the most important out of all. Huh, the last thing we have to finish today is... P -p president this I have feelings for you. Please accept it. Nope. Goodbye. Jesus. Gosh. Because she is so popular, some of them try to get in direct contact with her once in a while. Well, a normal confession isn't that bad, honestly. Some of them can be very forceful and aggressive. Others give her a ton of presents, including some creepy stuff hidden in them. And it's my job to protect her from these weirdos. It's not like someone told me to do it, it's just that I want to do it for her personally. Uh, thanks so much, Shimizu. It's nothing, President. But isn't it stressful for you? No, not at all. I'm okay. Aren't you pushing yourself too hard? Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, am I being too nosy? No way, you're a big help. Uh, I'm glad they have feelings for me, but it's really creepy when they give me weird presents. I'm glad to hear I'm being a big help. Oh, you must be really kind. Why do you ask? I think it's normal to help people who are struggling. And I think it's wrong for someone nice like you to go through such unfortunate events. 
I want you to smile, President. You have a very nice smile. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, that's the smile I'm talking about. Her smile is so sweet whenever I get to see it. Hmm. So this request goes to this list and that goes there. I have a crush. His name is Yomichi Shimizu. He is the vice president of the school council who supports me and who I can count on anytime. Hey cutie, I know a place that serves good hydrogen water. How about we go there together? Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. Come on, let's go! Um... Hey, she refused once, so give up and leave. Where are your manners? Being forceful is against the rules. Uh, whoa, what the... First of all, look around. Why would you ask a teen on a date? Go and ask that lady over there who clearly looks like she's waiting for someone to ask her on a date. You have a 100% chance of succeeding. Oh, I get it now. Now that you get it, just give up asking her on a date. Okay. Like this, he saved me from this forceful creep. I'm the type who struggles to be aggressive towards people. So seeing him being bold made me admire him a lot. I wanted to be like him. So I decided to run for president, mustering up all my courage. I was so nervous to give a speech in front of the whole school, but thanks to him, I gained some confidence. After being elected as the school president, using my power that allowed me to choose the other student council members, I went to Akshimizu to be the vice president. I went to Akshimizu to be the vice president. You want me to be the vice president? Uh-huh. What do you think? Why me? Honestly, I'm not that smart, and I don't think I'm fit to be a member of the student council. I... I think what's important to be a member of the student council is the motivation to make this school a better place. You're very kind, Shimizu. Uh, so, I think you're a great fit. After he agreed, I got to spend a lot of time with Shimizu. My admiration for him eventually evolved romantically. And now, I secretly have a crush on him. I want to confess my feelings one day, but I don't know when would be the best time. It's too embarrassing to suddenly ask him out and confess. No. <sighs> Did you hear a sigh? Mm, the reason must be... A request for getting a water fountain that serves good hydrogen water? Of course, that's a no. Uh, I guess we'll have to do something ourselves. Agreed. Huh? A king game? Yes. Oh, let's invite the other student council members too. Um... If you're in, I'll also participate, I guess. Mmm, a king game. Sounds fun. Like this, I decided to play the king game with the student council members. Who's the king? Oh, it's me. I have no idea what I should demand as the king. Hmm, should I go with the safe option and make others give the king a massage? Mm, but I might ruin the mood if I choose the safe option. Should I think of something that no one expects? Dead? How about I ask Shimizu to pet my head? No, 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 no. I, I almost thought that was a good idea. It's definitely bad to take advantage of this game for my benefit. Yes, that's absolutely a bad idea. First of all, I don't even know which number Shimizu got. I, I should go with the safe option. Oh, I got number two. Huh. How about the person who got number two give the king a massage. <gasps> uh, okay. Is it okay if I touch your shoulders? No, it's okay. What? 
Stop beating so fast, my heart! This is just a game. Yes, it's just a game! I don't have any other intention. I swear. <clears throat> I'm ready. <gasps> Jesus! Oops, sorry. No, no, I'm okay. I didn't know you had really stiff shoulders. Oh. <sighs> the game continued. Huh, it's finally my turn to be king. <laughs> hmm? Our dependable student council accountant and secretary are looking at each other as if they have something planned out together. Okay, number one and number two, kiss each other. Huh? No way! I got number one. Uh, I got number two? What did I do? I never expected to kiss Shimizu during the game! <laughs> what? Did those two have it planned? Don't tell me. They both know about me having a crush on Shimizu. Are they trying to set us up? Oh, they're winking in my direction! This is definitely their plan! So, who got number two? Um, I... I... got number two? Chop chop! Let's go! Um, I never expected to kiss Shimizu in this kind of scenario, but this might be a good opportunity. I should take advantage of this opportunity and confess my feelings for him. I refuse. What? What? I will not kiss her. I firmly refuse. I don't want to do it. What the, the heck? heck? What? D did he firmly refuse? He doesn't want to to kiss me no but it's the king's demand i won't do it B but 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 i will never do it he's really determined not to do it first of all she's also huh the president are you okay No, it's not like that. <laughs> President! I, I didn't know. I never expected Shimizu to firmly refuse our kiss. Because he hated me so much. <laughs> hey, don't run in the hallway. Kiria? What happened? Who made you cry? Something big must have happened when a wonderful student like you is running in the hallway, right? <laughs> she... Shimizu said... Shimizu? Okay, I'll go and scold him right away. No! You're misunderstanding! What? The president is crying over there. Apparently Shimizu made her cry. What the hell? That bastard! Uh, I can't believe he made her cry. <laughs> I don't know why, but the teacher scolded me for a good amount of time right after that. And a group of students kept on staring at me like I committed a crime. What a day. Because of all that, I wasn't able to run after her when she fled from the room. Ugh, what am I doing? When they asked me to kiss her, I wanted to protect her lips. It's not like I didn't want to kiss her. I felt sorry for her that she had to kiss me in that kind of scenario. 
punished, so I firmly refused to do so, but I never expected that would hurt her feelings even more. Did she want to kiss me? No, this is not the time to think about it. I have to find her and apologize. Oh, hey, have you seen President? <laughs> There's no way I'm telling you where she is. Huh? You villain, you made her cry. What? <laughs> They're treating me like a villain who made her cry. But I did make her cry. That's an undeniable truth. It makes sense that I'm a villain who made her cry. I promised to protect her. But I ended up hurting the person I wanted to protect with my careless actions. I have no right to complain about being blamed. I have to find her quick. Uh, can you get out of my way? Are you trying to find president? Yes, that's right. No way I'm letting you go. You're gonna make her cry again. You won't pass me. If you want to go to the other side, you better defeat me first. Goodbye. Jesus! Stop right there! You can't get past us! Oh, what next? It looks like the students are gathering up one after another. If you want to get to the other side, you better defeat us first! Hey, how popular can she be? Did you find him? Nope, he's not in this area. Okay, let's go that way. They're finally gone. Since then, I've been hiding and running away from the students as I try to figure out where President is, but I still haven't got hold of her. Apparently, the students are misunderstanding and are determined not to make me go near her. But President might also be avoiding me. <sighs> I just wanted to protect her. What is happening? I have to make sure I don't get caught. If they catch me, I won't get to meet her today. To be honest, I don't know what they might do to me if they catch me, so I'm pretty scared too. Hey, look at the butt in the bush! Oh, this must be Shimizu's butt. How do you know? I know who it is by looking at their butt. You should get arrested, man. I quickly ran away. President, where are you? Please let me apologize. Hey, there he is. Yeah, that was close. I saw Shimizu running this way, and I quickly hid in the bushes. But I didn't expect him to come so close. Fortunately, he didn't catch me. By the way, they were talking about a butt. They didn't see mine, did they? Let's not think about it. Oh no, I hid in the bushes without giving much a thought. It's just too awkward to see Shimizu right now. I don't know how I'll explain about crying at the student council room, but I can't hide from him forever. I just need some time. President! Oh no! Shimizu might find me if I stay here! I... I should move to somewhere else right away! <sighs> Where is a good place to hide? Oh, that looks like a nice place! <sighs> I bet no one would come here. Uh, what am I really doing? I'm avoiding him, hiding from him. Shimizu is running around trying to find me so that he can talk to me. But here I am, hiding in the chim storage room because I'm too embarrassed to see him. I'm starting to feel sorry. But I can't help it. I... I cried because he refused to kiss me. It's like I really wanted him to give me a kiss. I basically confessed my feelings for him. I know he'll tell me that it's not because he didn't want to kiss me. He's such a kind person. He'll probably apologize, although he didn't do anything wrong. He was looking for me, saying that he wanted to apologize, but he didn't do anything wrong. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should apologize to Shimizu. I can't stay here forever. I should go apologize to him. Yep, I made up my mind. Hmm? Wait! Stop running away! Whoa! Sh Shimizu? Huh? 
Oh, uh, no. I can't do this. I have no courage to face him right now. I quickly went back to the gym storage room. <sighs> I, I did not expect the sumo club to be involved in this. <sighs> there is no way I could go past those huge bodies if they come in my way. They shouldn't be able to find me if I stay here a while. I need a break. I really can't find her anywhere. I risked being caught by the students and even called her name while I ran around looking for her. But she's not showing up no matter what. Which means that she's avoiding me. Does she hate me now? Hmm? I think I heard a sound. Or am I thinking too much? Well... What should I do if she really hates me now? I... I have a crush on her, though. Uh, uh, who's there? Something... Someone must be here. Meow. Wow. Whoa, what a natural purr that is. No way that's a cat. Someone's here. But this person hasn't come out to catch me. Which means this person didn't come here in pursuit of me. This is bad. It's embarrassing if the person heard me talk to myself just now. Who can this be? Hmm? The volleyballs are all over the floor? The students didn't clean up properly, huh? No, that's not it. There's a butt visible between the volleyballs and the basket. And isn't she a girl? Thanks to the skirt, her underwear is hidden, but what on earth is happening here? Hello, are you okay? Th there's no one here. Huh? That voice. Is that you, President? Uh, no way! What are you saying? What are you doing in the basket? President? I didn't think much when I hid here. And now I'm stuck. So can I get out? <sighs> I helped her get out of the basket. No, no, no! Uh, President, are you alright? No, no, no! No, I... Please, live. Mm -mm, I embarrassed myself in front of you. I can't go on with my life. Oh, uh, no. She's a no-no bot now. Uh, President. Did you hear me talking to myself just now? N yes. <sighs> then I guess I can't pretend like I didn't say anything. I actually have a crush on you. So, the reason why I refused to kiss you during the game is not because I didn't want to. To be honest, I wanted to kiss you real bad. But I thought it was unfair to kiss you and I still haven't asked you to be my date. Since when did you like me? I've liked you for quite some time now. You're kind, and have a sweet smile. So, to sum things up, I've had a crush on you for a long time. I know this is all so sudden, and you might be feeling confused. You seemed bothered whenever someone confessed to you. No, I'm really happy. You don't have to lie. No, I'm telling the truth. I have a crush on you too, Shimizu. What? But you firmly refused. I was shocked and I couldn't help but to run away. I see. I was having trouble figuring out how to explain the reason why I cried. I ran away because I didn't know how to face you. I'm sorry. 
No, don't worry, it's okay. Do you think we can start dating? I think we're good. Then, <laughs> please take good care of me. Yes, of course. And just like that, we started dating. Mm. Huh? After that, I was bombarded with questions. Um, I have a favor to ask. Do you mind? Sure, what can I do for you? Can you pat me on the head? Huh? During the king game, I was thinking that it would be so comfortable if you can pat my head, so I wanted you to do it for me. Am I doing it right? Y yes, it's so comfortable. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> oh, she melted. Hey, I'm coming in. Oh, okay. Nice abs. What are you looking at? Your belly button. What are you really looking at? My name is Ko Hattori, and I'm in my second year at high school. Flip, flip. And this girl who suddenly came into my room is my childhood friend, Kai Kise. She's the same age as me, and we've known each other since elementary school. We're so close that she comes into my room without my permission and reads comics on my bed like this. Hmm, looks like the main character has a crush on his childhood friend. Ooh. Huh? What? Did I say something weird? Uh, no, it's nothing. That comic's really interesting, right? Right? Oh, I can't wait to read the next story. My heart was about to jump out of my mouth when I heard her talk about having a crush on a childhood friend. Yes, to be completely honest with you, I have a crush on Kaye, my childhood friend. When I was in elementary school, I moved to this town due to my parents' job transfer. At first, I had trouble blending in, and I had no friends. You're Hattori, right? The boy who moved to the house next to me? I'm Kaye Kise, and I live next to you. Let's be friends! Like that, Kaye became my friend. Since then, we played a lot together. We spent more time with one another, and before I realized, I had grown romantic feelings for her. She was kind to me when I was feeling so lonely. I guess she looked like a goddess in the eyes of my younger self. <sighs> Melting. Well, look at her now. She's actually lazy. She randomly puts the comic back on the shelf and leaves her socks all over the place. I should grow tired of her at this point, but... Kaye, don't leave your socks lying around in someone else's room. Why? It's more comfortable like this. I don't mind you taking them off. How about you at least fold them? Ko? Can you do it for me? All right. <laughs> Thanks. I guess I'm madly in love. I, I love her no matter what. But I still haven't been able to confess my feelings to her because... <sighs> I have no idea how she feels about me. I'm confident that she doesn't hate me. But I don't think it's normal to visit a guy's room so often. Compared to other guys, I think I'm extra close to her. She even visits my room like this to read comic books. Or is it that she doesn't see me as a guy? First of all, is she just coming here to read comic books? These thoughts have been stopping me from confessing for the past 10 or so years. I know it's about time to confess my feelings to her, but I'm scared that our relationship might be ruined. <sighs> if only I knew how Kaye feels about me. 
I guess I'll never get to confess if I keep on thinking like this. Well, I finished reading the comic. Is there anything fun I can read next? Hmm? Hey, Ko! Hmm? What's wrong? Hmm... Huh? Hmm... What's this? Oh, that's a sexy model magazine. I borrowed it from my friend. I see. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> Flip. Hmm? Huh. So you like these kind of girls, huh? <laughs> Pervert. Oh no, this is bad. I completely forgot that I placed it somewhere I can see it well, so I won't forget to give it back to my friend tomorrow. Hey, don't look! She saw them. She saw the 48 naked white shirt photos that tickle a man's heart. Naked white shirt, huh? Sweating. Sweating. <sighs> I'm going out for a bit. Oh, okay. Kai left my room. She definitely hates me now. What a nightmare. My crush hates me now. I can't go on with my life. I'm back. Oh, hey, welcome back. Whoa, what happened? Well, my clothes are soaked wet, so can I borrow your white shirt, Co? I, Kai Kisei, have a crush on someone. His name is Ko Hatori, and he's my childhood friend. I've liked him since elementary school. When we were playing together at a park near our house, a stray dog attacked me. Then Ko saved me. Since then, I've been hiding my feelings for him. I've thought about confessing so many times, but I think I'm not Ko's type. I secretly read his sexy model magazines once in a while. All the models on the magazine have a great body with a mature charm. I've been working hard to tone up my body so I won't lose against these models, but I always lack this mature charm. I know, I still have a long way to go until I become Ko's type. Even if I did confess, he'll probably dump me. So that's why I haven't been able to tell him how I feel, but... The naked white shirt I saw in the magazine I found in his room? I can dress the same. But would Ko fall in love with me if I wear this? I'm going out for a bit. Oh, okay. I rushed to the bathroom after I left Ko's room. I found a bathtub full of water, and with all my clothes on, I dived into the bathtub. <laughs> I'm ready. Now I can borrow a white shirt from Ko, and I'll and I'll get to dress naked with a white shirt. I'm back. Oh, hey, welcome back. Huh? What happened? My clothes got wet, so can I borrow your white shirt? Okay, Ko. It's time for you to fall in love with me wearing your white shirt naked! What? But why do you want a white shirt? Because I'm wet, obviously. You live next door. How about you go home? No, if I go home like this, my house will get wet. Does that mean you don't care if it's my house that gets wet? Well, my parents think of Kaye as their real daughter, so they'll probably just laugh it off, but... Okay, I'll lend you my tracksuit. Huh? Huh? I want a white shirt! Huh? Why? A, a tracksuit would be better. I... no! I prefer a white shirt! <sighs> Why? Whatever! But isn't a tracksuit more convenient for you? Nope! Nope! D huh? What is she thinking? I, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what my childhood friend is thinking. 
But think about it, a white shirt can be see-through, wearing a tracksuit is warmer, it's nice and safe, don't you think? No, a white shirt is more sexy! What on earth are you saying? You like it when girls wear white shirts naked, right? Uh, well, yeah, but... So you really are a pervert. Huh? Is she... Is she testing me? If I follow my desires and make Kaye wear a white shirt naked... Will she react like this? Okay, this is not good. I have to make her wear a tracksuit no matter what because I'm a gentleman. Here, just wear this tracksuit and here's a towel. Ugh. Ugh. First of all, why are you so wet? I slipped and fell into the bathtub. How wildly did you fall? Ugh. Oh, that's scary. I really have no idea what she's thinking. I want to know her intentions, but I'm getting scared to find out the truth. At last, I ended up barring his tracksuit. Ugh, this is wrong. Ko would have been able to make me wear a white shirt naked, but why didn't he do so? I gave it some thought and realized that he wasn't interested in seeing me wearing a white shirt naked. <laughs> Kai, dinner's ready! I guess he refused to let me borrow his white shirt because he simply didn't want to see me wear it. <sighs> Kai, focus when you eat! Maybe it's impossible for me to become Ko's type. No, it's too early to give up. I won't give up now. I don't want to give up. I won't give up now. I don't want to give up. I will make Ko, I will make Ko fall in love with me no matter what. And to do so, I'll have to do some more research. So I decided to look for other magazines in Ko's room. And I found another sexy model magazine. 48 naked apron photos that make men fall in love. Naked apron. I'm gonna succeed this time! Hey, stop looking at it. It's just my preference, okay? I'm going out for a bit. Huh? Oh, okay. I'm definitely gonna wear an apron naked this time and make him fall in love with me. Hey, that was a large bang. You okay? Oh. What what happened? Oh. Kaye, who made you cry? There was no water in the bathtub. Oh, I'm planning to wash the bathtub later, so I drained all the water out. You're mean. Why? <laughs> I wanted to dive into the bathtub. <laughs> what were you doing here in the first place? I just wanted to become the type of girl you like. Wait, why? I have absolutely no idea what my childhood friend is thinking about at this point. The next day. How was the magazine I lent you yesterday? Horrible. My childhood friend found it in my room. Oh, gosh, that was unfortunate. Uh, I guess she hates me for it now. Kaye was acting weird yesterday. Come on, cheer up! Uh, by the way, my brother bought some new magazines. You want to borrow them? This time they have 100 naked white shirt photos selected. I'm not in the mood. What should I do if she hates me now? 
Why are you being so difficult? If you like her so much, just confess to her. If I had the courage, I would have done it ages ago. I literally have no idea what she's thinking, and I don't want to ruin our relationship by confessing my feelings for her. I get it, but if you knew how she felt, everyone wouldn't be struggling so much. Just take your chance. You say that like it's easy. It is easy. It's not like it's going to be the end of your life. First of all, it's going to get harder to engage in romance once we become adults, okay? Once we become adults, we'll have to think about many different things when we fall in love, like marriage. We only get to enjoy falling in love freely while we're students. That's what my married brother told me. Being an adult is hard, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, about what you were saying just now? Oh, so you wanted to see them, huh, you pervert? Nah, it's just so fun when I imagine Kaye wearing it as I look through the magazines. You're disgusting! You're naturally insulting me. <clears throat> well, never tell her that, okay? I, I won't. I know better than that. Okay, then. Here, take them. There, there, look at what you brought to school. Jesus! Shortly after that, he was taken to detention. Luckily, I got off the hook. Sorry, man. Maybe I should just go for it. I think it's about time to make up my mind. Right after I got home from school, I went to Ko's room as usual. Apparently, the owner of his room hasn't come home yet. Like that, I decided to look around his room as usual. Hmm? This magazine? It's a naked white shirt special again! I knew Ko liked these! But he probably has no interest in seeing me wear it. No, it's time to show him what I can do. I have no other choice. I'll have to do it by force. Hmm, where does Ko keep his shirt? <gasps> ah, found it. I'm going to wear this now, and I'll welcome him home wearing his white t-shirt naked. And then he'll fall in love with me, no matter what. But what if he had absolutely no interest in me and looked at me with disdain. Will he hate me for wearing his shirt without permission? No, 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 I shouldn't be negative about this. I have to make up my mind and change right away. Oh, this is big. This is the famous naked white shirt look. Boys like these kind of things, huh? Okay, now I'll just have to wait for Ko to come home. An hour later, he's still not home. I'm getting bored. Should I read some comics while I wait for him? After my friend was taken to detention, he betrayed me and told the teacher that it was my fault. So I had to go to detention after school, and the teacher scolded me big time. Thanks to that, I ended up coming home really late. I'm exhausted. Huh? Kaye isn't here yet, I guess. She usually just comes in without my permission, relaxing like it's her room. Hmm. Wait a minute. My bed has a weird bump for some reason. Is it Kaye? Who's in my bed? What is she doing in my bed? Hey, Kaye, what are you doing here? What? <sighs> Kaye is sleeping on my bed. That's nothing special. She does it often. She often climbs onto my bed and sleeps there without my permission. We're so close to each other, we sleep on each other's beds. So that's exactly why I think she doesn't see me as a guy. Well, the fact that she's sleeping on my bed is nothing to be surprised about. If only she's simply sleeping on my bed, but this case is... <sighs> Jesus, she's wearing a white shirt naked? Why? Why is she sleeping on my bed wearing my white shirt? This is the very first time. 
I have no idea what's going on, but... I can't help but look at this beautiful masterpiece. Naked white shirt. What a wonderful culture this is. Japanese culture is absolutely amazing. Ah. Ko, where am I? Uh, did I fall asleep? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm so sleepy. Uh. Um, hey. Hmm? You should fix the front of your clothes. Hmm? Uh? Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, so what's with the outfit? So, um, I wanted to be, like, the type of girls you like. I... I have a crush on you, Ko. What? But I thought you'd dump me because I wasn't your type. So, I couldn't confess to you. Huh? But I wanted to take our relationship to the next step. I don't want to end my life as your childhood friend. So I wanted to be like the type of girls you like. So I decided to go for the naked white shirt look. Huh? Ko uh... turned into a huh, huh, huh bot. So you always had a crush on me? Yeah. What do you think about this look? Huh? Well, you keep giving me glances, so I guess I look pretty nice. Huh? I was planning to confess if only you showed a positive reaction to my outfit. <laughs> it looked like you were interested in me a bit, so I mustered up my courage and confessed to my feelings for you. Was I giving you too many glances? So, what do you think? Are you willing to be my boyfriend? I'll wear anything you want me to. I'll become the girl of your dreams. So, please. What's the point if you only change the way you look? You have a point. So that means you can date me, right? No. Huh? I'll have to admit that I do like these outfits, but you don't have to dress in that way. I like you the way you are. You don't have to dress to please me, just be yourself. Huh? Uh, I really had no idea what you were thinking, so I wasn't able to confess my feelings for you too. I thought you didn't think of me as a guy or, or someone you would fall in love with. Huh? But I'm glad to know that we both had a crush on each other. Now you're the hubot, Kai. You also had a crush on me. But the models on the magazines were more mature, so I thought you liked these types of women! Well, the magazines are actually my friend's brothers, and I'm just borrowing them temporarily. I was having fun imagining you wearing what the models are wearing. Wow. Oh no, look at her contemptuous look. I messed up, huh? Oh yeah, my friend told me not to tell her that. But I accidentally told her, oops. What a nightmare. Okay. Okay, I see. I didn't know you were imagining me in these outfits. Sorry, I'm disgusting, right? It's okay. <laughs> as long as it's you who's imagining things. Really? You know... I'm wearing your clothes without your permission. We're not that different. No, I'm more disgusting for sure. So, are we a couple now? Y yeah. Okay, take good care of me. Yeah, sure thing. Just like that, we started dating. 
Hey, do you have any magazines with models dressed up as maids? Maids? Huh. I can ask my brother if you want, but are you sure about this? I thought you started dating your childhood friend. Yeah, so? I'm telling you this beforehand, but I won't be dressing up as a maid. Whoa! Great timing, huh? Why? You're the one who told me to be myself. You said I didn't have to dress up to please you. Shoot! I could have been able to see you in many different outfits if I hadn't tried to look cool and said something like that. <laughs> He's lame. But <laughs> that's what I like about him. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm out. Hey, can you also wear that white shirt naked? <sighs> Who would want to see that? Definitely me! <laughs> then you go naked in return. Oops, my desire just slipped out. How about we go on a date next time? My name is Hizashi Amasaki, a 28-year-old employee. <laughs> Before I pass, I want to meet my grandchild. On her bed, Mom said this with a painful expression on her face. I, I won't ask for much. I'm happy if I can see you having a warm family. <coughs> Mom! Hizashi. It's just a cold, Mom. Don't act like you only have three months left to live. By the way, her temperature was 37.2 degrees Celsius when we last checked. She just has a mild fever. <coughs> oh, I'm serious. We don't know when we'll die. We should be aware that today could be the last day of our lives. That's true, but... Mm -hmm. So let me meet my grandchild by tomorrow. Don't ask for what's impossible. Now that I've turned 28, Mom suddenly started to insist that I should get married. Apparently she was always worried about me never being popular among girls, or had anything romantic happen in my life. <sighs> Hizashi, you have to do something about your passive attitude. Passive? Yes, you were never eager to initiate things yourself. You have to learn to be more aggressive. It's not like I can change my personality. You can always depend on dating apps now. Just try something out. You can't just wait for your future wife to approach you first. <sighs> Marriage, huh? It's not like I'm not interested. I'm just not good with romance. Like Mom told me, it's hard for me to approach the person first. The fact that I've never fallen in love is partly the reason, too, but the biggest reason is that I don't want to appear pressuring by being aggressive. Everyone would creep out if someone they don't like flirts with them. If only I was confident in myself. Honestly, I don't think I have anything that I can be proud of. My friends do tell me that I'm kind, but that means there's nothing else they can praise me about. Um, Mr. Amasaki? Hmm? G good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, Kuramori. The person who just greeted me with a low voice was Kurone Kuramori. She's my junior, who's three years younger than me. Thank you for your help yesterday. Thanks to you, I didn't have to work till late. That's good to hear. You looked so confused in front of your PC. I'm glad you were able to figure it out. <laughs> You're the only one who's willing to help me. Really? Yes. Everyone else doesn't notice me at all. I don't think so. Even so, you can always ask for help. No, no, no I, I can't do that. Huh? Because everyone is busy with their own work. They'll feel burdened if someone clumsy like me asks for their help. I think we're pretty similar. Even when we need help, we can't ask for it. We're too scared to be rejected. 
And this goes for romance as well, in my case. I don't think you're clumsy or anything, Kuramori. I never thought you were a burden whenever you asked for my help. If it's hard for you to ask for help, I'll offer my help if I notice you having some difficulties, okay? Mr. Hamasaki... <laughs> Mr. Hamasaki, you're so kind. <laughs> uh, uh You look depressed. Yeah. Why? I knew there was nothing I could be proud of. Hmm, looking for your would-be wife, huh? Yep, Mom wants me to get married. During lunch break. While I ate lunch at my desk, I was talking with my colleague about what my mom told me. Then you'll have to find someone to date first. I know, but I don't know how. Just approach anyone you feel romantic feelings for. What's so hard? I won't be feeling so lost now if I'm able to do that. You're kind to everyone, whether they're good or bad, which means you're never extra kind to a single person. You know me pretty well, huh? That's what you need to change. Listen, when you interact with people, being kind to everyone might be a good thing. But when you're dating someone, that's not always the case, okay? I know. Dating someone means to take extra care of the person you're dating. And that's one of the things I'm really bad at. I guess I want everyone to like me because I'm too scared of being rejected. A girl confessed to me in high school and we dated for a bit, but I still remember what she said when she left me. You like everyone, not just me. That's what she said. You have to let her know that she's special to you. If you're just kind to everyone, you'll never find someone to date. I'll keep that in mind. Good luck, man. I'm rooting for you. You'll be able to meet your future wife soon enough. Thanks. I think I'll try out some dating apps. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, um... Hmm? I just happened to hear it, but... Uh, are you looking for someone to date and get married with? Yeah, I'm gonna be 30 soon. I should settle down. I didn't know you wanted to get married. I'm not so desperate about it. It's more like what my mom wants. I... I see. Um... Hmm? How about you date me? Kodomori? I... I am sorry. I know this is impossible. Forget what I just said. Uh, I... What just happened? Uh, what should I do? Mr. Amasaki said he's gonna try out some dating apps. He'll get married sooner or later. Well, he's really kind. That's his very attractive trait he can be proud of more than anything else. I... I have to do something to stop him. <sighs> I have a crush on Mr. Amasaki. I want to be his girlfriend, or I want to be his wife if possible, but there's no way he'll accept if I confess to him now. I know he'll creep out and hate me. <sighs> I'm bad at communicating, and I can't look at people straight in their eyes. It's no use for someone like me, who has absolutely nothing to be proud of, to confess to him. <sighs> I have to improve my communication skills at least. I have to be more confident, bright, and talk as I meet their eyes. But before I improve, Mr. Amasaki might meet his future wife. Oh, what should I do now? No! I have an idea! <laughs> I came up with a great idea. Mr. Amasaki. Five minutes later, Kuramori, who just ran away from me, came back like nothing happened. Uh, about you looking for your future wife, I 
actually have an idea. An idea? Yes, so I I have a friend who's eager to get married too. If you like, I can set you up with her. Oh, that'd be great. Hmm, Koramori's friend, huh? Rather than finding someone to meet up with on an app, meeting my junior's friend might be better for me. It's gonna be less nerve-wracking. Then can you do me a favor, but only if your friend is willing? Uh, yes, I know she'll agree. This is her contacts. Thanks. <laughs> I have a lot of throwaway accounts to contact people. What was that? No, 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 nothing. Just like that, the dates were decided, and I was going to meet up with Kuramori's friend on the weekend that week. Oh? I'm almost there. I wonder what she looks like. I'm getting nervous. I'm pretty sure she's nice because she's Kuramori's friend. Uh, excuse me? Hmm. Are you Mr. Amasaki? Yes, I, I was waiting for... you? I'm Shirono Akaomi. Nice to meet you. What's wrong? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Is there anything on my face? Yes. There's so much going on on her face, I have no idea what she looks like. Uh, is it possible for you to take off your mask and sunglasses? I'm sorry, I'm allergic to sunlight. Okay, I get it. Oh, so you believe me? Uh. <laughs> if she's allergic to sunlight, I'll have to accept that. We're indoors, though. I'd like to decide who I'll date based on their personality, not their looks. Is that why you dress that way? Yes. Okay, I understand. You're very understanding. You're so accepting as always. It's so kind of you. <laughs> People have different ideas. I'm not here to judge. Should we order something? Here, take a look at the menu. Uh, yes, thank you. This pasta is delicious. Yes, there's a lot of ingredients in it. <laughs> he doesn't know it's me! I'm perfectly disguised as Kurono Kuramori's friend. As Shirono Akaomi, I'm accepted to be his date! I guess he hasn't realized it's me because I speak differently. <laughs> I'm really bad at looking at people in the eye, but I never knew that I would be able to speak so smoothly when I have my face covered. So, Mr. Amasaki, Yes? You said you were looking for a partner, but can you describe your type? Um, uh, my type? Hmm. Haha, <laughs> I'm such a genius for coming up with this idea! By meeting up with Mr. Amasaki, I'm not only able to prevent him from meeting his potential girlfriends, but I'm also able to change myself to be his type by asking him what kind of girls he likes! I don't really know, but I like people who can cook well. Someone who's a good cook? Yes, I like to cook once in a while, so I thought it might be fun if we can cook together. What else? Let me think. Maybe... I'll go on more dates with him, and once I succeed in changing myself to fit his type, the Akaomi version of me would disappear. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for today's date. It was our first date, so after we ate lunch together and got to know each other briefly, we decided to call it a day. It was nice meeting you. I hope to see you again. She was nice. I think we share the basic traits. Our conversation has a nice pace and it's comfortable being with her. Maybe I'm feeling attracted to her personality because she had her face covered. She said she'll contact me again soon. I'm excited to see her again. No. I can't just wait for her to contact me. I'll try to initiate a conversation. Next week at the company. Kuramori, good morning. 
Good morning, Mr. Amasaki. Good to see you here. I was about to go find you so that I can express my thanks. Actually, t today I made some lunch for... What? Here you go. What, what's this? It's a butter sandwich cookie. You like it, don't you? I... I love it! How did you know? Of course I know. I see you eating it often at your desk. <laughs> You're the only one who pays attention to me. Uh, oh, but why are you giving this to me? It's to express my thanks. I went on a date with your friend yesterday after you set us up. Thanks to you, I had a lot of fun. I... I see... You had fun? Yes, she told me that she'll contact me again soon, so I think she doesn't hate me or anything. Huh? Can it be that he's pretty fond of her? I, I definitely look like a weirdo with a cap, mask, and sunglasses, though. Kuramori? Nope, it's nothing. Uh, oh, by the way, were you trying to say something? I, um... I... so... Hmm? N nothing It's nothing Hmm? Really? Okay, then. Yes, let me go back to work. I wonder what she wanted to tell me. I thought I heard her say something. Uh, never mind. I should try texting Mrs. Akaumi later. We have to make plans for our next date. Mr. Amasaki? Do you have any hobbies? I don't have many, to be honest, but I go watch movies pretty often. What kind of movies do you like? I actually like to watch horror movies. Oh, I watch horror movies too. Should we go to the movies next time? Next Sunday, I was on a date with Mizaka Umi for the second time. It was so comfortable spending time with her. I'm not yet sure if I want to get married to her, but I hope to keep in touch. Huh? Uh, what's wrong? Oh, it's uh, the foreigner over there. She's looking around a lot. She might be lost. I can't be sure, though. Maybe she's just casually looking at her surroundings. Of course, I'm willing to help if she asks for my help, but... Many would say that it's too much if I suddenly offer my help out of nowhere. No one around her is offering their help. No one really cares. Or maybe they haven't even realized. You have to let her know that she's special to you. If you're just kind to everyone, you'll never find someone to date. No, I I'm on a date right now. I can't be sure that she's actually in need of help and... If I decide to talk to her, we'll waste our time during our date, and that would cause trouble to Mizaka Umi as well. So, in this case... Should we offer our help? She looks like she needs our help. Uh, are you sure? It might take some time. Yes, don't worry. She's... Thank you, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll go with you too. It's okay, you can wait right here. Oh, of course, you can go help her, because that's what made me fall in love with you. While others ignored it and pretend like they didn't see, you just can't help but take action. Because you're so kind and awkward, you were able to find me. The next day... <laughs> oh no, I'm at work, but I can't stop thinking about Ms. Akaumi. I can't stop smiling when I think of her. Our date yesterday confirmed my feelings. I've fallen for her. I've made up my mind I'm definitely going to confess to her during our next date. She's the only one for me, the only person I want to get married to. Um, Mr. Amasaki. Oh, Kuramori, what's the matter? No, 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 it's nothing but... You seem very happy today. Oh, do I? Yes, yes, you're smiling all day long, so I thought something good might have happened to you. 
actually, yeah. I... I see. If you'd like, could you tell me what happened? Yep, I really wanted to say thanks to you, Kuramori. I'm planning to confess my feelings to Mizakaumi. What? Uh, 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 this is not what I expected. I never thought he would fall for a Kamui first. There's no point if he doesn't fall for the real me. Maybe I should honestly tell him that a Kamui is actually me at this point. If I can be honest, I wouldn't have to come up with this complicated plan in the first place. But if I interpret it positively, he fell for Akami, meaning that he could also fall for Kuramori as well. O okay, the Akami version of me should disappear, and I'll approach him little by little. If I did have the courage to do that, I wouldn't have come up with such a complicated plan. Okay, but I have to make sure things won't make the wrong turn anymore. I won't be able to see you for a while. Sent! Huh? Oh, it's a message from Mizakaumi. <laughs> Is she asking me on a date? Of course I'm ready to say yes. Huh? Hey, Hizashi, let's go eat lunch. Whoa! What happened? You look horrible. Oh, do I? Yep, you look like me when I lost $750 in gambling betting on the most popular horse. We definitely don't look the same. You okay? I could be a good listener. No, it's okay. Just leave me alone. I can lend you up to $300. No thanks, man. Stop assuming that I lost money gambling. Oh, oh no. He, he looks so upset. Does he like Akami that much? But, but I've heard that it's easier to fall in love when you're upset. And Akami is basically me, so if I can cheer him up, he'll probably like me more. And then we can get married. Mr. Amasaki? Oh, Kuromori. Uh, Akaomi told me she wants to keep a distance for a while, right? Right. She's your close friend. She must have told you about it already? Yes. I thought we were getting close, but maybe she was feeling uncomfortable. I don't think that's the case. She... She has her own problems to deal with, I guess. Problems? Yes! Uh, maybe she's busy with work. Uh, maybe she's getting a job transfer. She might have to move and so on. Okay, I see. So, maybe she wasn't the one. I think it's better not to go after her. I... If you're looking for a partner, maybe you can turn to someone who's close to you. Hmm? Right. I kind of figured. I think we're quite similar. I was always passive. I was too scared to be rejected if I ever initiate something, so I've been living my life welcoming everyone who comes my way and never going after someone who decided to leave. What? But I'm different now. I'm serious about Mizaka Umi. If she doesn't hate me, I think I still have a chance. Uh, 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 um... If she's moving, I'll accept that. Even if we're far apart, I want to keep things going between us. I don't care if Mizaka Umi thinks I'm annoying. What? Thanks for letting me know. Thanks to you, I'm feeling better. <gasps> no! Uh, you're calling her? Okay, I should call Mizakahumi right away. Yep, I don't know her phone number, but I can call her through this message app. Wait, wait a minute! A call is too much! I don't think it's a good idea! No, a message is not enough to prove my passion. I have to tell her directly. 
no, no, no. This is very bad. V -v -v very bad. Oh, my phone is going to ring if he calls her right now. I have to come up with an excuse. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, I'm ready now. I keep on making excuse after excuse. What's the point? I always run away. I have absolutely no courage and... I haven't been able to confess my honest feelings to my crush even once! This person who thinks very similar to me, this person in front of me, he's getting out of his comfort zone and trying to confess his feelings while I... I... I love you! Huh? I... 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 I have a crush on you, Mr. Amasaki! Kuramori... What? So forget about Akaomi and please go on with me. Uh, Kuramori, your phone is ringing. Oh no! I see. So I was deceived, huh? You definitely are making fun of me.